Hello, my beautiful DIY army. We are back with another headboard. I know I did a few of this ones, but I learned a technique that is gonna make it so much easier, so shinographic, and I couldn't hold myself from sharing this with you. This project came to life because one of my clients needed to install all lights on the back of his bed, and we would have had to cut down the entire wall to do that, which is super expensive. So at the end, we decided to make all the lights go through the headboard. If you do not have to do this, just skip this step and go a little bit forward in the video. I'm gonna link you here where. Otherwise, you can follow this and you can also install your lights in the headboard. You are gonna need a stable gun, a precision knife, some ruler, and obviously foam, and then the fabric to cover your full headboard. This is the big slick of wood that I inserted on the back of my headboard. And yes, as I told you, we needed to pass all the electric cables on the back. And that's why you see that I already made a square where I want the buttons to be and also the sockets for our lights. And then I think I'm gonna add a sconce more or less at this height. We're gonna measure it better later. Once I had established where this console could be without you banging your head every time you get yourself out of the bed, I take the measurements all nice and clear so to be sure that it was straight and then did the same thing on right and left. When you have to pass your jigsaw in between the wood without making a cut, you need to do first a hole with a driller. You have where to put the blade of your jigsaw and finally you can cut out from the inside. As you can see, now we have a hole and this is where the buttons are going to be. And this instead is the hole for passing the cables for our console. Now, let's go and take the measurements for the design that we want to do of our headboard. I want it to be basically like two layers of huge rectangles, so I marked the middle of the wood. And then I'm going to go and draw my rectangles directly on the foam. Like always, I just mark on the bottom and the top. In this case, I did 35 centimeters on the top, 35 on the bottom, and then go and draw the lines all straight of where I want to cut the foam, and I will have basically the drawing all done. Take out your precision knife and cut away all the lines that you drew and finally you're gonna end up with a lot of rectangles that you can go and place on the wood here is the drawings you cut them on the side you cut them on the top and there you have them basically what we're gonna have is two layers of rectangulars and this is the drawing that we're gonna have for our headboard yes it's a massive headboard now you have to take your fabric in this case as i told you this is a little hack that is gonna save us so much time compared to sewing and cutting and sewing and cutting we are literally gonna hide the fold of every fabric in between the two pieces of foam. I'll show you two versions of it. In this case, I simply pushed it inside with the fingers and then stapled only the two corners, squashing it to the inside so that the fold would stay internal to the foam. You can see it better here from the side. You see I'm literally pushing the fabric in between the two foams and then using something sharp to put it all the way in and then simply stapling the two sides. I did this for all the top side and then finally stapled also the two corners of the top and the bottom of the fabric so that it wouldn't move at all. We are already done with all the top part and now we're gonna have to do exactly the same thing on the bottom. The bottom layer is gonna be a little bit different because we have this hole over here. So we're gonna put the foam and the fabric on top of it but before continuing we have to go and cut inside of it the hole even in the foam so that we can pass all the cables inside. It's a super easy step and no worry at all. You can directly go and place your fabric on top and then from the bottom of the table we're gonna make the same thing first we staple it and do the same technique on the bottom but actually i decided to do it a bit different with all these pieces of foam what i did was staple in between them and not only the side on top and bottom it just made me feel a bit more secure but actually as a final result there is no difference in the aesthetic just do what makes you feel safer so basically for all the bottom line i stapled also in between the two pieces of foam i didn't just push it inside with the fingers i gave it some extra security and did all the bottom of it all the way to the end one piece after the other one piece after the other. Before we continue, I have not forgotten about my patrons. So big shout out to my patrons, my mom, Shalom, Kismet, Leila, Zari, and Asia. I know you're probably wondering, what do we do with this little mess over here? It's way more simple than you think. I got crazy last time, but instead, you just push it inside with your finger and staple it. So this is what happens with the extra pieces of fabric. You just push it inside exactly like you did with the borders and then go and staple it inside. And yes, you're going to have to do this for all the two meters of the headboard that I'm doing. I don't know how big your headboard is, but it's basically the same thing. But at the end, because there's going to be a lot of extra fabric that we do not want to be visible, we're going to have to go and cut literally close to the border and push the rest of the fabric inside. It's going to come out 
super clean and the little details that you don't see or better that you do see of the fabric don't worry they're gonna disappear later last step is to open this hole over my head upside down from under the headboard you have to do a little x on the bottom pointing to the top and then we're gonna go with our staple gun and literally staple the extras of the fabric inside toward the wood so that it's gonna come all nice and neat and as you can see it looks almost perfect but not really so that's why i took out this little pieces of string whatever you want to use you can also use like a rope but the important thing is that it's very thick and that it can pass in between without being too noticed, but that it's strong enough to push the fabric inside. I stapled a little bit of it on the back and literally pulled it from the front all the way to the other end of my headboard. And this literally kept all the fabric nice, neat, and cool without making so much effort. This is literally the easiest headboard I've ever done. Yes, I'm covering paint and it has nothing to do with this project, but I'm doing something else in the other room. Bye. Let's go see the result.